greetings, brethren, it is Donkey. He has a beer and drinks with glee. That's pretty good for some made-up lyrics, eh? <laughs> so, hi, it's the Donkey. And we're back with Donkey vs. Beer, uh, still on our road trip through Denmark. Uh, and we, I forgot to say this yesterday, I, you know, since yesterday we've been in the town of Copenhagen, having a look around. Uh, it's a big town, I suppose, and, um, well, we are still in Copenhagen because the Carlsberg uh, brewery is there, even though the one we had yesterday was actually brewed in Hamburg, Germany, but let's not be too specific about that kind of stuff. So today we are looking at the other brand of beer that is also brewed by the Carlsberg brewery, but in a different brewery in Copenhagen, and that is Tuborg. Uh, Tuborg, very similar to um, uh, Faxe, <clears throat> Uh, is that they come in these massive cans. I have also seen this in bottles before, but I don't know, for some reason in Germany they, they like to sell it in these big cans. It's their gimmick thing. Uh, Tuborg does also have a strong beer, just like Faxa, but I did not get that because uh, I couldn't get it where I bought this. And this was, you know, I bought this really close by. So it's a Pilsner, uh, much like Faxa as well. So, if that's disappointing to you and you prefer the, um, the strong Tuborg, well, sorry, I suppose. There we go. I don't know. I, I, I will never get over this. I do not like beer from cans. I think it smells weird. I think... I can taste the can sometimes, not always, with the facts I actually couldn't. Um, yeah, so let's 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 have a go. I, I basically, by the way, I just I just say facts now because uh, I mean that's not what it's called, but I I don't want to ruin the joke from the video by pronouncing it correctly and not putting beeps in, which I'm not gonna do because I'm lazy. So there you go. We are once again using the one liter mug from Bavaria for the Danish beer, which, oh, and I screwed everything, but that's fine. The, the table has seen much worse. It's my work table. So this definitely doesn't build as nice of a head as, uh, facts it did, uh, despite both being lagers, or in this case a pilsner, which is a type of lager. Uh, let me just wipe it on the table a little bit, because we're in a civilized household. I mean, the household is civilized, it's just that I'm a barbarian. <clears throat> All right, there we go, everything is nice and clean. Uh, the can is massive in the way there it will live there all right so let's have a go shall we oh that's that's not at all as nice as uh, as faxa i don't like this um hmm this reminds me a lot a lot of Heineken. So let's check, do we have any sugar in it? Nope. Uh, oh, of course, this was also brewed in Hamburg. Why not? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not, I'm not convinced by this one. Mm. So it definitely has Pilsner characteristics. There's a lot of bitterness. Uh, Interesting amounts of, of savory type flavors going on. There's even a little bit of a smokiness, which I do not associate with Pilsners. I do not it fit. I, I do not think it fits in here very well. Uh, it just feels unnecessary, and I don't know if they if they toasted some of the malts to get that, but I don't know. It just doesn't. It just doesn't taste very nice. 
So unlike Faxa, which I did actually enjoy, and have bought another can in the meantime, um, I don't think I'm gonna get this again. This is definitely a below average for me. The other thing that I can already tell about this beer is that by the time I'm yay deep, it's gonna be flat. As you can see, it's about yay deep. All right, so about half of it, once I've been through about half of it, it's gonna be flat because there's already barely any carburation left. Uh, I mean, as you can see, there was, there was no head to speak of uh, and it dissipated immediately. Uh, I don't know, man, maybe this is better from, from the bottle. Uh, this one, I don't know, maybe, but I am not a fan. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna do the rating part pretty quickly on this one, because I, I don't have much to say about it. It's just, it's a very, very subpar Pilsner. Yeah, it's just unpleasant. There's something to it that's, that kind of nips at your throat as well, so there's a kind of a, a petroleum type thing going on, a sort of a very, you know, overly alcoholic, uh, which it shouldn't be, because this is 4.9%. Like, it's not very alcoholic, and yet it has that tang that is just, uh, yeah, it just makes it unpleasant. It's not a good drinking beer because of that. So, uh, yeah, kind of just really disappointed with this one. Too bad I kept this uh, for the for the uh, last one. I should have had this yesterday and finished with the Carlsberg, because, you know, the elephant, that was actually decent. Yeah, but that that's not very nice. I don't really like it. Not a big fan. What a shame. <sighs> oh, well. So, a topic that I did want to talk about is... Uh, I think I talked about it before on this very road trip, or maybe I haven't. Um, but I've been doing a lot of hiking and wandering around in the forest, uh, both close by uh, and like right next to the town and further away. And I've been really, really enjoying that. And uh, I'm, as part of my losing weight and, you know, working out again and strengthening my core more more specifically that really is something that i have to do um yeah i'm, I'm gonna i'm working up to a point where i want to be um hiking through some german mountain ranges and uh, camping hopefully next year um this is going to be sort of a part of my way of coping with uh, covid which will never end for me so um I need some way to, to deal with that, and I think that would be a nice way, just to get away from things, just to get away from people. Um, so yeah, that's that's something I'm working toward, and I'm making pretty damn good progress. Um, for, I'm filming this on a Wednesday. Spoiler alert, shattering the, the image of, of me recording these on the same day. That's not what I do. Um, but Wednesday is my wandering day. And today I wandered, uh, actually not too, like I just went from here to the next town, really, which comes up to about uh, nine kilometers. Then I bought some beers there at the import store, because that's that's kind of the, the sort of goal of that particular hiking path. Uh, then I grabbed a bite to eat and um, went ahead into that town so it probably was a bit more in total probably was like 10 kilometers in total so that would be uh something like seven miles which isn't that impressive i'm not saying oh ho, ho, nobody has ever walked that far before you know i'm you know 20 20 kilometers to, to 20 miles a day is not really impossible right that's something that's something you can you can aim toward but anyway my, my point being i did that and I felt completely fine afterwards. I kept working and I actually feel in a shape now that I think tomorrow I might go again. Not the same route, but have a nice wander again in a different part of the forest. So that's pretty cool that I'm already to that point where I do a, you know, a longer hike and I come home and I feel just fine, energized, happy, in my lane, moisturized and all those good things. 
Um, yeah, so looking forward to doing some more of that. Not especially looking forward to finishing this, but uh, it's got to be done. It's already stale. Excellent. <laughs> it's not very good. I don't really like this beer. Um, did I already give it a rating? I don't think I did. If I did, I will overwrite it. Uh, this is only getting a 1.5 out of 10. I think it's pretty terrible, actually. Um, I would rather have a Bex, and I'm not a Bex fan. So, yeah, very disappointed in Tuborg. Uh, I'm not actually sure if I've had this before or when. I probably have had it at some point, but... Yeah, no wonder I don't remember it fondly or anything like that, because it's actually pretty crap. Alright, that finishes that. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my impromptu singing uh, of the Misty Mountain song, which just has been going through my head all day for some reason. Um, yes, and please join me again on another day for another beer. Take care, guys.